We stopped off in Dáil Éireann, wondering, full of questions, asking, how could we get the promissory note aspect of this debt back on the table? Because everywhere we've gone, everywhere, it has always been the least defensible part of the debt. And we met on that occasion a TD who went on to work with the technical group and bring this motion to the table. Ladies and gentlemen, Luke Minx Lanigan. Garamagat uh, Fiona, Oder Vilen Dank aus Deutsch. I think that's the language we're now meant to speak. In 1801, when the Act of Union was signed, Lord Byron said in the House of Commons, the only relationship between a large state and a small state is that of the relationship with a boa constrictor and its prey. Now we all know that the boa constrictor doesn't cuddle you, we know it doesn't ki ki kiss you, we do know it tries to kill you. Now sadly, we have now gone diving in to the throes of the boa constrictor. When we joined the European community, now remember, the European community, very important word, we were joining what was meant to be a society of friends or a community. Sadly, they are no longer our friends by the looks of it. However, you're never going to find that out unless you ask. And that is what this motion is about. It's about asking for debt write down of odious debt that is not ours. And no more than the young lad who's at a dance looking across the dance floor at a potential beautiful partner wondering whether to ask them to dance or not. Who knows whether they'll say yes, but there's one thing for sure, you'll never find out unless you ask. And I certainly, for one, am not going to be that bloke that goes on for the rest of his life wondering whether the answer will be yes or not. I certainly won't let that happen to my children because they will not forgive me. We are talking about tens of billions of euros of debt. We're not confused. We know this isn't about narrowing the gap, narrowing the gap between what we spend and what we take in. We fully understand what this money is about. When the banks were making a fortune, anyone who suggested that this money should go to the ordinary people in Ireland were put down as left-wing lunatics. Yes. Strangely enough though, when they lost all the money, we had to take the debt on board. Now, you can't have it both ways. So ultimately, what is the solution to this? We have relied on Fianna Fáil, we have relied on Fianna Gael, and I can proudly say in Roscommon we never relied on Labour, but some parts of the rest of the country did. We've been at it for nearly a hundred years, looking for the same solution. And guess what? It's not happening. It's never going to happen if you keep looking in that direction. The only place that the answer will be found will be on the ballot paper next May. We need to go out there and take the power back, put our names on the ballot paper, cut the spokes of the bicycle wheel. And what I mean by that is, some people may say, may say, what power do you have on a council? Well, the power that councillors have currently in this country is limited. But one power they do seem to have is, when it comes to a general election, they'll bring 20 to 30 canvassers with them. And let's say, like for example in Roscommon, they have 10 Fine Gael councillors, it means 300 canvassers in the next election. If we do the right thing next May and populate the ballot paper and get around to cutting those spokes, for every one of them we remove, we remove 30 potential canvassers. For every one of them we remove, we also take 30,000 euros in resources from those people. And there's a double whammy effect. There's also 30,000 in your resources for us to fight the tyranny of what's going on in Europe. And there is also the potential to bring 30 canvassers with you. So it starts next May. Stop waiting for someone else to do it. And I know I'm probably preaching to the converted here because you're here for a reason, because you haven't given up. But when you leave here tonight, spread the word. They're not going to change it. 
Ye are the only ones who can change it. Take the power back. Riot at the ballot paper. And to use a phrase that some people think it's only for one particular grouping. And I'm going to use it. And I'm going to claim it. And we should all claim it. Because we all have this ambition. Chucky Erlo. Thank you. Okay, unfortunately time has caught up. Marcus Howard, test one, two, three.